Yo, I want to leave another review for Prince of Persia. Yeah, The Lost Crown, the recent one. One of my favorite games, man. Believe it or not, it's one of my favorite games. And besides, last night I forgot to stream. Well, I was a little tired. But if you look, look at the streaks. Kinda. Two days ago, three days ago, two days, two days, two days. I've been on more than an hour. Literally, this was like an hour and a half right here, okay? I plan on going live again. So yeah, if you're on Twitch, okay, near Ajax. I enjoy just streaming and playing video games as of now. I'll probably do another live stuff where I can just talk and browse and have fun. But I enjoy the way it is, man. And again, no pressure. You don't have to join me. But here's the deal. Prince of Persia, okay? This is how I see it. I play a lot of games, believe it or not. And I just have to cut down because there are challenges, midlife, crisis, bills to pay. If I really got paid to play video games, I wouldn't mind playing 10 hours. I have to be productive, but yeah, please prioritize what's important to you. Everybody has different timelines. Prince of Persia, as of now, because besides this PAL world, I just still don't understand. Maybe I just lost interest, like most people. How many people are still playing PAL world? I don't know. And I, I know a lot of people came and finished the game, went off. I enjoy the story, all right? I enjoy, actually, the story and one of the few games I want to finish the game. That's why I, there's Tekken. There's Pal. What, Pal World is not in the list, but I'm saying there's Tekken. Other few games on my list, which actually I want to play, finish it. And they are decent, I hope so. Story mode, like Mortal Kombat. But I do not want to start them until I finish this Prince of Persia. And let me tell you another thing, okay? What makes it so interesting? First of all, if you look at this, man, one of the mission was so challenging. I never gave up. One hour, I tried to fight this boss. I think this is, let me see, where was this? All right, how do you even get back? Oh my God, come on, man, come on, come on. Check this out. Over here, I think this was the boss. One of the bosses, it was brutal. This one, over here. Holy moly, man, this boss was crazy. Look at this one, this was challenging. But once you get used to it, I mean, then, yeah, it was, it was not so crazy. But I'll tell you, my, I'll give you my two cents in a second. This boss was challenging. Now, while this is on, let me tell you something interesting. Games like this, all right? It's obviously it doesn't come all the time, and I enjoy this platform kind of game. There are a lot of other things I enjoy. GTA is totally different, but main reason this at this moment is a stress. Not I wouldn't say it's a stress-free, but it's it's not one of those games that invokes or you know makes you mad, stressed. GTA is a different level game. I'm just giving an example. You fight, you shoot. There's emotion, a lot of emotions attached to it. You have to be alert. You get, I mean, you know, it does trigger a lot of parts of your thingy. It, it's real. This game has no drama, no BS, nothing. All right. It just, it actually unlocks some of the parts of your brain. It, it challenges you. There are places that you have to remember, you have to explore. You see the map, you forget about it. This is a brain game in a way. Puzzles. I enjoy that. Puzzles. Um, that's one of the other reasons why Harry Potter, Lord of, the game, Lord of the Rings. I like puzzle games too, but not too much of RPGs. This thing literally unlocks. And one other thing. So lately, I see it as a reward system. So if I get to work on my day, whatever stuff, I reward myself with some good night's sleep and video games. This, you know, Prince of Persia. So, hey, Rebel, did you finish your work today? No, mommy, no. Oh, get back to work or else you can play Prince of Persia. All right, mommy, I have to get back to work. So I just focus on work. And then I can think this, you know, I can see that, oh, wow, I'm going to enjoy the game later on. I mean, that makes me happy. Like, okay. And it doesn't happen all the time, believe it or not. So, yeah, it's, it's been lately, it's, it's different because there's not, there's not much games out there that actually triggers that emotion. Like, oh, you know, I'm actually looking up to playing, like, for example, GTA, something I'm actually waiting for. Uncharted, I don't know if, if ever they'll make it. Last of Us, will they come with a new one? Metal Gear, solid, will they have one? Ninja Gaiden, will they have one? Gears of War. I don't think so. I mean, I'm just saying, like, there are a lot of games they probably will not have. I don't know. I'm just saying. So if they once they come out, or Devils May Cry, God of War, if they come out, I'll be excited. And there's another game that's coming out, Hell Divers. Hell Divers, man. I played Hell Divers with a lot of people online, co-op game with a lot of people. It was it was fun. I made a lot of friends as well. It's funny. <laughs> and video games have nothing to do with loneliness and any of that. Okay, when you play, when I'm playing a game, let me tell you this, whether you're 20, Gen Z, whatever level you're in, boomer, 60, dinosaur, doesn't matter. Okay, video games has obviously no limit. But when you play, you leave your emotions out. Enjoy the game. You don't have to get carried away. And, okay, I, I'm a child. I, I'm, when I'm playing a video game, I'm a total gamer. I enjoy it. I, lo I love it. 
I'm watching a movie as a director's point of view and you know, it depends, like I see things differently. So it has nothing to do with age again. And nowadays, if you play certain games, I believe it unlocks some certain part of your, you know, that's, again, this is not a health game or whatsoever, but it does. It teaches me you not to give up. Like I played this thing for one hour to kill this boss. It was challenging and I'm not playing in easy mode. I'm just playing in normal, the, you know, second higher level. But yeah, it just, then you, un, you know, understand about the sequence, about this pattern, the routine, you block, punch, this, 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 it, it, it helps. So because the more, the older we get, the brain, you know, brain fart, man, brain gets old. Like you have to keep it running, just like car. If you don't keep it running, oiling, so you gotta keep your brains and everything oiling, man. Even the hands oiling, man. No lubrication, I'm just talking about this thingy, right? So anyways, just wanted to give you my two, you know, two cents on this. It's one of the games that actually made me do this review. And uh, wow, I hope I can, you know, actually play some more new games. I have a couple on my list. But at the same time, I got bills to pay. And these are expensive games, man. It's like literally sacrificing a whole, you know, half month of some coffee or some some stuff in order to get one of these games. Yeah, I'm not one of those so-called popular dude who gets games for free. I pay for every single thing I'm, you know, doing. So I make sacrifices. Anyways, thanks for watching. And yeah, not disappointed. But I really, really hope I can get something nice to play again, man. Because they make me happy. Games actually make me happy. Yeah, yeah. That's all I have for you.